Tu Sang Ku, stare at the upper sky, starts open-handed, the arms come up, as the leg comes up, we cross, or we bring our elbows together, check out our leg, dropping down, knife hand, hips go back, we're going to bring the hands behind our head, like we're making a circle, bring the hands together, make a triangle, one, two, three, we pull it back, as it comes back around to the front, our hips come up, breathing down. Stairs open-handed, feet together. As you bring your left leg up, you're going to cross your arms together, checking them. They're both kind of covering you, yourself up. So your left leg is checking the groin as the hands are protecting the head. But you're only standing there for a second. So you're going to check and immediately drop into a horse stance with two knife hands, going right past the knees, striking to the groin. Hips go back. You're going to pull your hands up like you're making a circle, bring your hands together. This is where it gets the, to stare at the upward sky. But you're gonna pull it back three times. You pull up, hands come back, and then on the bottom part of the circle, your hips come together, trying to breathe, and pulling your center out in front. Cat stance, knife hand guard. Cat stance, knife hand guard. Cross behind. Side kick, cat stance, knife hand guard. You're going to slide into a cat stance. A cat stance is a, a knife hand guard, it's not a knife hand block. Our hand is, elbow is over the, uh, the wrist, is el over the elbow. It's just a, a knife hand guard with the hand across the solar plexus. We repeat it to the same side, uh, opposite side. We cross step behind, side kick, knife hand guard again. Step forward, sword arm, hand closed. Sword arm, press block at the same time as you step and spear hand. Turning around, cat stance, knife hand, rising block. So, uh, bringing the hand down, spear hand, checking the elbow. Grab, kick into a sword uh, snake stance as we outward block, the side and low block. As I step forward though, these motions are going to be sword arms, stepping, pulling both hands together at the same time, and this knife, uh, the sword arm comes up and out at the same time, hitting with, focusing on from the knife hand to the elbow as my hand closes on the hip. So I step again, and then I'm going to push spear hand and connect it all together, but it all happens at the same time. You don't want to push and then step and spear hand. You step, spear hand all at the same time. So from your sword arm, you step and connect it. This is going to protect you from getting hit as well as make your so, uh, spear hand uh, more uh, strong by augmenting it. But your spear hand and everything go at the same time. We're going, to turn around. We're going to turn around into a cat stance. Rising knife hand block, hands closed on the hip. So as you, as you go into your cat stance, you're going to rising knife hand block, close the hand. And as you step forward, the hand is going to fold down checking elbow, uh, checking the wrist at the elbow, kind of stopping it from going too high with your spear hand, as well as acting as a guard and, and augmenting it, making it a little bit stronger. So we knife hand, hand closed, throw it open for our nukete or our spear hand. We're going to cross our arms like we're doing a double knife hand or, or we're grabbing, pulling back into our kick. So we pull and kick at the same time. So it's cat stance, Hand closed, spear hand, grab, kick, and then we're going to immediately move back. So after I kick, from my pull and my kick, I'm going to step into a uh, snake stance as I outward block to the side, as I lean to the, uh, to the right, I'm going to block to my right and low block to the left. So it's a sword stance or a, a snake stance as I block and low block. Feet come together, we cross, cup and saucer, side kick, step slide, elbow, cup and saucer, side kick, slide, elbow, low cup and saucer. Then bringing my both feet, hands together, crossing my arms, feet together to cup and saucer. So I block, Feet together, cross, cup and saucer, side kick, and then as my side kick goes out and comes back, 
This is the movement with the elbow where my foot slides down. I slide like I'm stepping into a, a, a leaning uh, reverse step and my foot pushes in as I elbow. So my foot coming in and my elbow are all together at the same time, landing feet together, knees bent. So the motion is from my cup and saucer, I side kick, step and slide and elbow. Cup and saucer, and then we repeat it to this other, other side. So I side kick, my foot goes down as it slides out. I slide, elbow staying low. Okay, so I slide, my, my foot comes across, as my elbow comes across, hitting my hand, and then I go back to my cup and soft. So, sword arm, sword arm, sword arm, sword arm, press block at the same time as my spear hand, cat stance, knife hand, rising block, spear hand, I step, sword arm again, sword arm again, so repeat the same sword arm, but behind you, and sword arm, same motion, we're going to press block, step, spear hand at the same time, same cat stance, rising block, hand on the hip, pull down for the spear hand, grab and kick, step behind, left leg, spring stance, augmented outward block, step into a forward stance, clear it into an outward block, straight punch. Spin around, forward stance, double hammer fist, forward stance, hammer fist with a press block, pull down for the spear hand, pull and kick. Now this time after we kick, there's a little hop of my left leg going behind my right into a spring stance. As I sit, I'm going to augment my outward block. So it'll go kick, step, and Augment. So I'm setting in, augmenting my block. I'm going to step out because you're not in there for long. You're using that power of that step to put power behind your block and immediately spring out of it, crossing again for a regular outward block, followed by a straight punch. So that motion again, we kick, step, block, clear, punch. Then we're going to step behind. Checking the leg if we need to, double hammer fist, shoulder height, step again, single hammer fist, press block with the right. Jumping, cap stance, hammer fist, pushing the hand down, fingers together into a forward stance, low knife hand guard, turn, outward block, low block. Great punch, pull it back, looking, stepping, side kick, cat stance guard, from here, I hop, as I, immediately as I set at the same time my hammer fist, my hand's going to roll like I'm pushing the back of the head. So I picture I smash the side of his face, push the head down, but I'm still in the forward stance, but I'm leaning forward. Okay, I'm not touching the ground, and I'm not in a bad stance, I go from my Cat stance, head uh, waist level, push down to below the knee, step forward, low block like a low gait ambidi, but with an open hand, other hand protecting across the solar plexus. We're going to turn, just a traditional outer block, step, traditional low block, then we're going to step and punch and pull it back. When we pull that punch back after our low block, we're going to step punch right down the middle, but then we're going to yank it back to where it's in line with my elbow. It's a, a good forearm check or guard, or if somebody was grab, you punch and they grab the hand, you're pulling it towards the, the grip of the thumb. So on my low block, I step, punch, pull it back, and then I'm immediately going to cross behind and side kick. So after my punch, pull it back, I look, I step, side kick, same cat stance, uh, Cat stance with our same knife hand or guard with the hand on the solar plexus. Guard, sword arm, sword arm, press block, spear hand. You're going to tension, slowly pull, twist the wrist, pull in with breathing. Once you get to here, you're going to immediately spin around, 
to a horse stance with a hammer fist. And then you're going to push and do two back fists. After the second back fist, elbow to the front, cross, tension, breathing, slow outward block, slow low block. Same sword arm, same sword arm, same pressing spear hand. Then from here at the end, this is where all, a little bit of the tension comes in. We spear hand, I breathe out, I breathe in as I turn, and I breathe out as I pull it back to where it gets vertical. I don't want to pull it all the way back to my forehead though. I spear hand, I twist my palm, I pull it back. Picture like somebody's pulling on your hand and you're pulling with everything you got. Everything's tightening, time it with your breathing so your arm's not too fast and your breathing's too slow or vice versa. You want to breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and everything snaps. As soon as that snaps, immediately you want to Turn and hammer fist. As soon as you land with your hammer fist, you're going to immediately push back fist once, twice, immediately elbow. So there's a little bit of a rhythm to that last part. So it goes spear hand, breathe out, breathe in, turn, strike, all really quick. So once you uh, hammer fist, back fist, back fist, elbow. You're going to do a slow outward block, uh, low block, and an outward block with tension. So you're going to elbow, uh, smash your hand with the elbow. I kind of bring my elbows together like they're, they're tied uh, from here to here. And then I'm going to start my tension from my horse stance, twisting, breathing out. Everything snaps, snap, and tightens. So the tension should go from here, here in your horse stance. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out again. Turn to the front into a forward stance. Same thing, cross, tension, outward block, low block. Spin again, tension, rising block. As soon as the rising block reaches the top, it comes around fast for a punch. Knife hands, jump in front, snap, kick, and as soon as your foot lands, snap the back fist. As you turn, raking low back fist right up into your hitting the hand position. Food. Into a forward stance, doing the same motion. We're going to breathe out, arms come down first. We breathe out, low block, outward block. From here, breathe, breathe out, and snap everything. We're going to turn one more time. As we do this, instead of a low block, we're going to do a rising block. So my hand comes down, my rising block goes up, and at the last second, it snaps. So I'm breathing in, breathing out, snap it. Now the flow of this is, again, as immediately after this goes up and snaps, it shoots right back to a cup and saucer or a strong punch to the side. Then immediately to a double knife hand block strike, pretend like you're grabbing, then you're going to pull as you're jumping for a snap kick, and as soon as your foot touches, you hit with your back fist. So again, there's a little bit of a timing and flow with this as well. So again, we go from here, okay, so everything kind of flows together. So if we're going back in the regular direction, I'm rising block with tension, Breathe around to my punch, double knife hands, jumping front with a back fist to the same height, and then as I spin, I'm bending my knees, doing a back fist low, as it rakes back up to the front, hitting up top, rolling it back down. So Rising block, punch, block, kick, back fist, breaking position. Got a coup on coup. Stare at the upward sky.